Hi! One of the main processes for the experiment is heating and today I'm going to share with you some of the observations that you will see when you do heating itself. And not only that, through the observation, you will actually imply something and the implication actually will guide you and help you to find out the unknown. So sit back, watch and learn. Now remember, if you like the video, remember to click like, okay? Today, I'm going to show you the first portion of most of the practical exam. Let us say, okay, they are categorized with three parts. And today, the first part I'm going to show you is when they are hitting a solid alone. Let's see, starting from 2009 observation, let's take a look. 2009 paper, they say you are provided with a sample of solid X. And they also say heating. Where? Let's go on. Over this portion here, they say that solid X plays them into a hard into a large dry hard glass boiling tube and then heat the solid carefully keyword heat let me prove to you the next one okay in 2011 year you're given a sample solid Q and same thing over here over here they say use a spatula to transfer approximate one third of the solid Q into a hard glass test tube heat the sample heating solid tube This test tube gently and then more strongly heating solid again. And of course, they say you have to repeat again for the next solid, which is solid salt tube. Yeah. And this is 2012 paper. Next, coming out 2013 paper. <laughs> heat this boiling tube, which is the one that contains salt X, and you heat it again. Moving on, this is 2014 paper. Heat this test tube gently at first and then strongly for about a minute. Same thing, heating. So are you convinced now that the first part is always about heating? Well, when we heat a solid X alone, well, they actually go through this process called thermal decomposition. When they go through thermal decomposition, there are a few things that happen that you need to write down in your observation. Now, why is it important? to write down the observation because most of the time after you hit your job is to write down observation. This is 2013 paper, observation. 2009 paper, also observation. And 2011 paper is also observation. Well, I think this is enough to tell you that it is important to write down the correct and or you should write down observation, okay? So when you hit the solid alone, what are some of the things that you can look up for? Well, usually there will be gases that are evolved. There might be even a change in the colour of the solid. There might even be water that is uh, uh, evolved as well. And there might even be a change in the states. So why are all this so important? So when you're testing on the, uh, when you're heating, you observe the solid. If the solid colour change, for example, they change from green to a black, you need to write down before heating is green. After heating, it turns to black. Now, for water, you might see from the side of the test tube whether there will be water droplets formed. If there's water droplet formed, you can say that water is uh, evolved, uh, is, is produced and is formed at the sides of the test tube. If there's no water, it's okay. Just leave it, don't need to write. How about the states? Well, this is a solid, so we start with solid. After heating, they might, during heating, during the heating, they might change to liquid state and or they might even evolve to become gaseous state or along the way they may change from solid to a liquid or to a gas you just need to write down what you see the most interesting part definitely are the gases so when you are heating it there will be definitely they, they sometimes will be gases evolved and what should you do you should do a test on it so you'll be thinking that oh there are six gases in my uh, qa node so does that mean that i have to do all the six gas no because most of the time they will tell you exactly what test to do 2009 over here says use lime water so i know immediately that they are testing for what gas carbon dioxide gas okay 2011, they say test any gases evolved using the red and blue litmus paper. Well, immediately, I would think about ammonia gas or even chlorine gas. And of course, they say you can test any other, uh, you can use any other tests that you think are appropriate. But of course, you can do other tests when you have time, okay? 
2012 says, wow, plays a glowing splint. Immediately, I know that oxygen gas is one of them. Okay, they are testing whether oxygen gas will be produced. Next, coming up, here says they use, while heating strongly test any gas evolved using litmus paper, litmus paper, ammonia chlorine, glowing splint, oxygen gas. Well, you notice that for all the heating of solid, when gases is evolved, gases are evolved, you usually will be guided to what test to use. So, you don't need to go through all the six, just need to follow the instruction. So, what exactly does it tell us if some of the gases are, uh, is evolved? Okay? For example, if they give out carbon dioxide, it goes to show that my solid X is a carbonate. That means, they, 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 that means I'm saying that there is a carbonate inside solid X. How about ammonia gas? If ammonia gas is tested positive with the damp red litmus paper, it shows that X might contain, might, uh, contain nitrate or ammonium. Now, how about hydrogen gas and oxygen gas over here? Okay, let's try the oxygen gas first. Okay, now for oxygen gas, if oxygen gas is uh, tested positive using the glowing splint, it goes to show that nitrate, X has a nitrate, okay? Now, we are almost halfway there, so can you see over here that testing positive for the, the gas, it gives you a clue to what is inside X, okay? Now, how about hydrogen gas? Well, if hydrogen gas is tested positive with a lighter splint and you hear a pop sound, it goes to show that, hey, X inside might have a metal. Now, we left with two, chlorine and sulfur dioxide. Chlorine is the one that will bleach any of the litmus paper. If chlorine gas is tested positive, it shows that inside contains a chlorine compound. Now, sulfur dioxide has a very long test. It uses acidified potassium permanganate. It is purple in color. It will turn to colorless. Now, if it's tested positive, it means that inside contains sulfur compound. So, testing using all the gases are very important because they give you a clue to what exactly X is. And I hope that this is helpful to you. Well, isn't it amazing just by heating a substance alone, the observation will tell you so much about the substance. So if you really like our video, remember to click like and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out our bio. In our Project Lightbot series, we actually produce a lot of physics content and even geography content and primary school math and sciences as well. So check it out, okay?